Hi, so in the last video we registered a company and it got saved into the database but we got thrown into an error because it the, the redirection after we register redirects us back to the edit page and we haven't yet ran the code or written the code for the edit page yet so that's what we're gonna do for this video but before we get into that there are two functions that I want to talk about and the first one is user has role in company and the second one is allowed to edit company info and as you can see in the comments to see orders products company the person should have a role in the company because really if you're not an employee of the company then you shouldn't have any right to actually look at anything of a certain company so to do that we do current org person type position ID and if it is blank then we're just gonna redirect the person to to a certain path. Redirect to edit or so we're just gonna redirect them back to their back to their their profile page and it's gonna be current or person ID. And we're also gonna have a flash warning to say that they should really they need to be approved by the company in order to to actually see the information. So the warning symbol in this flash it tells us that okay you need to be approved by the company to to have access to the page because you could you get from the last video we had a drop down that allows the user to decide which company that they belong to. If they just click a company, then there should be a moderator to to accept that request. And if they're not accepted, then they shouldn't really be able to see anything and that they should be approved by the company before before getting into before being able to see the products. Now allowed to edit company info. This is really to check who can edit the company information. So only, for example, chief operations officer, director, or regional manager should be allowed to edit the information. So our position is current org person type person ID. And we're just going to check what position it is. So this will grab for us. This will grab for us. A number and that number corresponds to a certain position so for example position one would be director position two would be um, a director or position one would be your COO position two would be your director and position three would be your regional manager so you know, I think I had to find that in our database but you can check if you can check if it's been defined if it's not then you can define it as homework but if there is a position and they're one, two, three, that means they are the CEO, director, or regional manager. Then we return true. If else, we're just gonna return false and we're just gonna do another redirection back to their profile that say that they are restricted from accessing this role. So that's pretty much those two functions and we're gonna call them in certain actions. So remember our before action, signed in user, well, now we could add another option to it. We can add in user has role in company to check that, okay, if this person actually belongs to the company, then they should have access. So the functions that we want to have this check are not really new because we have that sign in user in new, in new. So let's just take that up. We should have it in show. We should have it in edit, update, um, and here are so I'm going to write some extra extra functions that we're going to write later just for completeness sakes because they're in my notes. Ajax add deliverers, deliverers, um, preferred deliverers, and people. So these last four symbols or um, yeah, these last four functions, you don't really have to worry about them for now. You can just worry about the show edit update. It makes sense because you should only be able to see the company information if you belong to the company. You can only, the same, same, same idea for editing and updating company information. 
And we're going to have another before action. And this is, we have another before action. We can't keep it to the first one because it will, it will only affect certain, certain, certain functions. So a lot, allowed to edit company info. We're going to have that for, I forgot a comma here, or else you'll probably get an error. We're going to have that only for edit and update because we only, for example, want to be able to edit the, the contact information for the company only if you're the COO, the director, or the regional manager. So actually, I think this video has been quite long already, so we won't step into the edit function right now. We'll step into it in the next video. Um, this really, you get play around with it, the before action to, to, to see if the checks are actually happening with the functions, but we'll, we'll see how they work in, in, in future videos. So don't worry about that too much. Um, so that's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your comments and questions in the comment box below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.